Now, if you want to quickly remove a white background in Photoshop, you might be thinking that we could just go ahead and use the select subject button or even the remove background button inside of the contextual taskbar. But to show you why this doesn't work, let me go ahead and click on select subject. In this case, you can see that there is a selection that has been made, but if I'm wanting to remove all of the white from this background, you can see that it's missing a bunch of areas from the selection, so it doesn't do a very good job. Although this may work with some images with white backgrounds, it's not not always super reliable. So instead, we're gonna use something called the magic wand tool that can do this a lot better and more consistently as well. So undoing that selection, I'm going to now go and select the magic wand tool from the toolbar. I'll go up here to the top of the toolbar and find it right here. With the magic wand tool selected, we have a few different settings in the option bar that we need to go and enable before we make our selection. The first thing that we'll want to do is make sure that anti-alias is checked as well as sample all layers. We'll then want to uncheck contiguous so that way we can have a selection of all of the white within our photo regardless of whether or not those pixels are touching. We'll then go ahead and set our tolerance to 32 and then we can choose a sample size of either point sample or 3x3 three three average. With all those settings good to go, we'll make sure to click on the layer that we want to remove the white background from and with that layer selected, we'll go ahead and click on the white within that photo. Now you can see we have successfully selected all of the white within our photo and to remove that from the image, we're going to go ahead and add this to a layer mask by going down to the layer mask icon while we have that active selection and just clicking on that. This will apply that active selection on to the layer mask of our selected layer, but currently it is the opposite of what we want. It made our entire subject invisible. So to fix this, we'll make sure to click on this layer mask and then we'll press Command or Control I to invert that layer mask. Now with that complete, we have removed our white background from the image super easily and now we're ready to go and export it with a transparent background. To do that, just go up to File and then down here to Save a Copy. And then in the save a copy window, we'll choose a location, give our file a name, but most importantly, we're gonna set the format down here to PNG. This will preserve all the transparency in your image. Now with this good to go, I'll click on save, click OK, and now you have successfully removed the white background from your image. Now, if you're new to working with selections in Photoshop and want to expand on what you learned here, be sure to grab a free copy of my Photoshop Selections PDF guide, breaking down everything you need to know about their functions and how they can be used within Photoshop to improve your editing. To grab your free copy, just click the link in the description, type in your name and email, click the button, and a nice shiny copy of the Selections guide will instantly appear in your inbox. I hope you enjoy that PDF guide and I'll catch you back here next time.